Hi friends, in this video we are going to uh, see a packet tracer activity that is investigate unicast broadcast and multicast traffic. We will see the objectives in part 1 generate unicast traffic, in part 2 generate broadcast traffic, in part 3 investigate multicast traffic. We will come to part 1 generate unicast traffic. Step 1. Use a ping to generate traffic. Click PC1 and click the desktop tab, then command prompt. Enter the ping command, uh, ping 10.0.3.2. The ping should succeed. Here we are going to ping from this PC1 to this uh, uh, router 3 interface, serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Because uh, here we can see uh, this IP address uh, 10.0.3.2 for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 in this uh, row or 3. We will uh, ping it coming to our PC1. Command prompt. Here we are going to give that command. Ping 10.0.3.2. And here we can see uh, we get the replies. It succeeded. Now we will go to step 2. Enter simulation mode. Click the simulation tab to enter simulation mode. Click edit filters and verify that only ICMP and EIGRP events are selected. Then click a PC1 and enter the ping 10.0.3.2 command. We will do that. Uh, here we can see a uh, simulation mode we will uh, click on it and here we can see edit uh, filters and here we will select only uh, icmp and eigrp as they specified okay here we can see those uh, selected events Event list filters, visible events, EIGRP and ICMP. Now we will go to PC1 again and we will ping. Command prompt. Here we will press the up arrow so that we will get the previous command. Then we will press enter. Yes, here we can see a PDU is generated uh, on this uh, PC1. It's ICMP. Now we will go to step 3. Examine unicast traffic. The PDU at PC1 is an ICMP echo request intended for the serial interface on router 3. Click capture or forward repeatedly and watch while the echo request is sent to router 3 and the echo reply is sent back to PC1. Stop when the first echo reply reaches PC1. We can do that. Here we can see capture or forward button. We will click on it. ICMB goes to switch. Router 1. Then router 3. Then it sent back to router 1, switch, then back to our PC1. Here we can see uh, we received uh, one replay. Which devices did the packet travel through with the unicast transmission? Yes, so here we have seen it started with PC1, uh, then switch. Uh, router 1, router 3, uh, then again back to router 1, switch and PC1. Now we will come to B. In the simulation panel event list section, the last column contains a colored box that provides access to the detailed information about an event. Click the colored box in the last column for the first event. The PDU information window opens. Okay, our event list is not visible here. Uh, so here we can see uh, event list. So I will uh, maximize this uh, screen and here we can see event list. We will click on it. So here we can see our event list. And here we can see the last column, its type. 
we will click on the first PDU uh, colored box here and here we can see PDU information at device PC1 what layer does this transmission start at and to why here we can see uh, it's uh, layer 3 uh, because uh, uh, we are working with IP and ICMB so it will be obviously uh, layer 3 now we will come to see examine the layer 3 information for all of the events notice that both the source and destination IP addresses are unique cast addresses that are for 2 PC1 and the serial interface on router 3 yes we will observe that uh, coming to uh, the next PDU information here we can see that okay it's layer 2 we will go to the next here we can see it's a unique cast address source IP and destination IP coming to the next PDU information here we can see layer 3 source IP address and destination IP address uh, unique cast address layer 3 same it switch so it's layer 2 okay and coming to the last PDU information at the in layer so here we can see the source IP address and destination IP address uh, it's a unique cast addresses here what two changes that take place at layer 3 when the packet arrives at router 3 we can verify that first of all we will come to uh, PC1 uh, PDU information and uh, here we can see uh, the source IP address is at 10.0.1.2 uh, this is the IP address of our PC1 and uh, the destination IP address is 10.0.3.2 this is the IP address of our uh, uh, router 3 interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 also here we can observe uh, ICMP message type it's 8 now we will go to uh, the PDU information uh, on this uh, device router 3 and here we can see the source IP address now it's 10.0.3.2 and the destination IP address is 10.0.1.2 oh it's just flipped uh, that means uh, we can see uh, the source IP address uh, become the IP address of our router 3 interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 and uh, here we can see the destination IP address uh, become this uh, PC1 IP address so obviously the message goes from this router 3 to PC1 so he will be the source and PC1 will be the destination this is the one change and coming to ICMP message type here we can see it shows 0 so previously uh, in PC1 we have seen uh, it was 8 so this is the second change next is uh, click or reset simulation where is that reset simulation in simulation panel here we can see that our uh, reset simulation we will click on it okay now it's time to move to part 2 generate broadcast traffic step 1 add a complex PDU click add complex PDU the icon for this is in the right toolbar and shows an open envelope here we can see that add a complex PDU then float the mouse cursor over the topology and the pointer changes to an envelope with a plus sign right so we will see that we will click on it and here we can see that then uh, click PC1 to serve as the source for this test message and the create complex PDU dialog window opens enter the following values destination IP address at 255.255.255.255 it's a broadcast address then sequence number 1 and one short time 0 we can do that so we will click on this PC1 and here we can see create complex PDU here we will give our destination IP address okay then we will give sequence number as 1 and we have to give a one short time a 0 seconds then within the PDU settings the default for select application is ping 
where is that uh, sure we can see that pdu settings uh, select application uh, so here it shows by default a ping what are at least three other applications available for use okay here we can verify that uh, here is our drop down list here we can see many other application like dns finger ftp http https imap etc so here we selected ping next is a click create pdu this test broadcast packet now appears in the simulation panel event list it also appears in the pdu list window it is the first pdu for scenario zero now we will click on this create pdu and here we can see the pdu now click capture or forward twice this packet is sent to the switch and then broadcast to PC2, PC3 and router 1. Examine the layer 3 information for all of the events. Notice that the destination IP address is 255.255.255.255 which is the IP broadcast address you configured when you create the complex PDU. Correct. So we will capture or forward it twice. You will click here two times. And once more and here we can see it broadcast to PC2 PC3 and router 1 now we will examine uh, layer 3 information uh, for all these uh, uh, events so we will come to PC2 and we will click on this uh, uh, ICMP packet and here we can see a destination IP address uh, it's a, a broadcast IP address then coming to PC3, here also we can see destination IP address, it's a broadcast IP address. And coming to router 1, here we can see destination IP address. So analyzing the OSI model information, what changes occur in the layer 3 information of the out layers column at router 1, PC2 and PC3? Here we can verify that. Uh, first of all, we will come to uh, router 1 and we will verify uh, the out layer. Here we can see, th see that the destination IP address is 10.0.1.2. So this is the IP address of our uh, PC1. So we can see this uh, PDU uh, become a unicast back to this PC1. We will verify on PC2 also. Here we can see the same uh, PC1 destination IP address 10.0.1.2. And here also we can see in PC3 unicast address 10.0.1.2, the IP address of PC1. Next is a click capture or forward again. Does the broadcast PDU ever forward on to router 2 or router 3? Why? We will verify that. So we will click on this uh, capture or forward. So here we can see uh, this uh, PDU is not forwarded to uh, router 2 or router 3. Yes. It's because obviously the broadcast is limited to a uh, local network. So it won't go uh, beyond this uh, router 1. Okay. After you are done examining the broadcast behavior, delete the test packet by clicking delete below scenario 0. We can do that. We will maximize our uh, packet tracer. Here we will expand this arrow. And here we can see a scenario 0 and delete button. So we will delete it. Now we will move to part 3. Investigate multicast traffic. Step 1. Examine the traffic generated by routing protocols. Click capture or forward. EIGRP packets are at router 1 waiting to be multicast out of each interface. Okay, we will click capture or forward until we, we get this EIGRP packet on router 1. Oh, oh, here we can see this EIGRP. Okay, we will try once more 
and we will verify this packet it's EIGRP okay examine the contents of these packets by opening the PDU information window and click capture or forward again the packets are sent to the two other routers and the switch the routers accept and process the packets because they are part of the multicast group the switch will forward the packets to the PCs okay uh, before uh, clicking this uh, uh, forward capture or forward we will go to this EIGRP uh, PDU information here we can see the details here we can see the source IP address and destination IP address uh, so if you here observe here destination IP address is a uh, 224.0.0.10 so it's a multicast IP address we will close this PDU information uh, window and we will click capture or forward here we can see it goes to switch then it goes to all the PCs even again we can verify it from router 1 to router 3 from router 2 to router 1 so there we can see the packets EIGRP uh, sent from router 1 to router 2 router 3 and the switch uh, it's a multicast traffic now click capture or forward until you see the EIGRP packet arrive at the PCs okay we can do that it goes to switch and here we can see it goes to all the PCs what do the host do with the packet so here we can see all the PCs uh, drop the packet now examine the layer 3 and layer 4 information for all of the EIGRP events okay we will go to each EIGRP PDUs uh, coming to PC1 here we can see destination IP address uh, 224.0.0.10 uh, so it's the uh, multicast IP address of EIGRP coming to PC2 here also we can see the same destination IP address coming to PC3 here also we can see the same uh, multicast IP address for this EIGRP what is the destination address of each of the packets yes we have seen uh, that was uh, multicast uh, IP address next is a click one of the packets delivered to uh, one of the PCs what happens to those packets here itself we can see that all the PCs are drop this EIGRP packet because these PCs are not part of this EIGRP uh, and they did not process uh, these uh, packets based on the traffic generated by the three types of IP packets what are the major differences in delivery yes uh, first we have seen a unique as traffic uh, in that we ping from a, a single PC to a specific device then we have seen a broadcast traffic uh, we uh, generated a broadcast uh, that means uh, uh, they sent uh, packets to all the devices in that local network and finally uh, we investigated multicast traffic where the PDUs are sent to a specific number of devices also we have seen uh, uh, that packet processed only uh, those devices belongs to that uh, multicast group and those who were not belongs to those multicast group uh, they were not processed okay so this packet tracer activity uh, was intended to understand uh, unicast broadcast and multicast traffic so friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below and if you expect these type of videos consider subscribing and don't forget to enable that bell icon so that you will get the notification message whenever we upload a new video so stay tuned take care 
we will meet again with the next video thank you